I feel like this was probably a fail. Honestly, I don't think I would expect it from, you know, 2000 plus euro machine. Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today we're gonna tear down the Sigma. So stick around. No fancy intros, we're just gonna get down to it. But for those who are new to the channel and wanna know what I'm doing and why I am doing it, well, check out this link right here. And then obviously just get back here. So first things first, easiest thing to take off. Uh, we're gonna start with the, um, with the hot ends. This is probably going to be one of the things that I will want to keep. I don't know yet. Um, kind of thought it through. Keeping the same ribbon cable is going to be a bit of a challenge. But yeah, we'll see as we go along. There was so much corrosion on this bracket that the threads on the aluminium bracket actually got stuck to the screw itself. So it kind of pulled out the threads around the screw. You know, I look at these and I start wondering if maybe the issue is in fact the flat cables, you know, either they misalign or something like that and it just messes everything up. Okay, that's two hot ends out. Next up, extruders. Okay, that's, that's, that's actually how. Okay, both extruders out, both hot ends out. Next will be, well, to get the bed completely off, plug in there so we can remove the heat bed plug or the connector. Well, at least we can keep the same power supply. It's a decent meanwhile power supply. Yay, managed. Okay, so this we're gonna keep. I'm gonna keep here. Everything else can kind of come out. I, I will still probably do kind of like little breakout boards that sit behind the extruders. Um, just so kind of it'll be like an easier connection. Like if you want to swap it out, you don't have to like take everything out. So just plug it, everything um, in the breakout board and that's directly connected uh, to the main board. I'm wondering if um, I could possibly do some like dual drag chain system. I don't know, I doubt that will be possible, but yeah, yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. So these are LEDs. We'll have to replace those because most of them have already like completely um, blown out. While we're here, I want to show you exactly how I know that this will fit. See, right till the end, I can definitely make a bracket for that. The only issue is, as I mentioned before, like this um, belt up here, 
So I just have to turn that 180 degrees, but I also need to swap these out for the um, Hemera Excess version, which are thinner. Now, obviously I also need to remove the gantry here completely so I can then work on the x-axis motor so today i'm pretty much ripping everything out so let's start with the electronics you know come to think of it i can't keep the ribbon cables either way because then i would have to do more breakout boards down here because the duet doesn't run on ribbon cables so that kind of works out so Plug remains, power supply remains, power switch remains, screen, SD card reader. These need to come out. See, this was on both sides of the cables. These are the driver cables. Um, they're completely smashed and kinked where the 3D printed bracket was to kind of hold them in place. And I'm wondering if that attributes to drivers constantly burning out. This is Joe from the future. Um, after I did the teardown, I discovered something or I noticed something and I figured it's very important to elaborate on it. So these are the drivers that control the stepper motors. And basically the way it works is that these are attached to the frame and they are resting on this 3D printed piece, which I'm, I, I'm assuming is PEG. So you have those grooves in there for the pins to rest on like this and they're resting on the frame on top of those you have this plate here which covers them for protection now there is a bit of an air gap there okay for um well a bit of cooling breeze let's call it there's no heating or anything like that on top now after i uh i finished recording the teardown i started looking closely and as you can see the bottom of this is very clean but if we grab the bottoms of the extruder ones, these are the extruder stepper drivers. And as you can see, they're extremely corroded. Now, granted, this was in the garage for a couple of years, but then again, why would it happen only to the drivers and not the rest, which are absolutely spotless? Not only that, these were resting, as I said, on, um, on these 3D printed pieces. If you grab the ones that were resting under the stepper drivers, which are these two, then you grab a bit of a toothpick, you'll notice that the PEG is just completely decimated itself with heat. So basically what was happening is, this is why they were pretty much overheating. Um, there was literally nowhere for the heat to escape except for the printed PEG. And I think that's an interesting engineering design um, because that to me doesn't make sense. And I don't know why they would do it like this. And if you notice, like even here where there's this kind of channel where the connector of the stepper motor sits, like you have these spins over here, they just dug their way inside the uh, 3D printed part there and left a mark. So yeah, honestly, I don't think I would expect it from, you know, 2000 plus Euro machine. And I think it will also need like an extension to its cover just so all this 
doesn't happen again because it's one hell of a messy printer. I'm actually quite happy that I can take this out as is, like this, um, because I can definitely it'll be much easier to work around and installing the uh, NEMA 17 motor instead of these NEMA 14s. Now that we have an absolutely blank canvas, um, it's time to start designing where the main board will go, how the screen is going to stick on, um, how we're going to convert the brackets to fit the NEMA 17s, the uh, Hammer XS extruders, cabling, all that sort of stuff. But for today, this is going to be it. Uh, this was the teardown video. I'm going to do this step by step. I want to do it right, do it slowly. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell for notification, select all so you get notified. <sighs> and as always, happy making guys.